I have recreated the Pottery Barn terracotta jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, and I'm so excited to show you guys how they turned out. Now, of course, before we get started, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my future videos and help support my channel. A couple of videos ago, I showed you guys my fall decor haul, which included these ceramic unfinished pumpkins from Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, and TJ Maxx. Okay, so I have finally painted those and they turned out beautifully. It was actually a really easy process. I will say it took forever and I was covered in paint by the end of it, but it was so worth it and I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's get into it. You're gonna need a few things for this project, starting with a plastic plate. I'm using a melamine plate that I wrapped in saran wrap, the baking soda, you are going to need the golden brown acrylic paint by Scrap Smart and the color Raw Sienna. Of course, you could get whatever color acrylic paint brand that you want, but these are the two that I went for. You're going to need some really dense brushes. And by dense, I mean kind of brittle and dense, lots of brush soles, very rough. And of course, you're, you're going to need some ceramic pumpkins from, of course, mine are Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Michaels, and Joanne Fabrics. You're going to start by measuring out the paint pretty much 50 50 on either side. You're going to do a one to one ratio and keep mixing until you get the desired color. As you can see, this pumpkin right here is the color that I am going for. It's nice and kind of terracotta orange. It's something that I wanted. And then go ahead and mix that all up. I went ahead and tried just painting one of my ceramic pumpkins with just paint, no texture. And this is how it turned out. And the color is absolutely perfect, but it is lacking that texture. So for my second round, I decided to add some baking soda. So the baking soda you're going to use normal baking soda and just kind of eyeball whatever, however much you need. It's all gonna depend on the level of thickness and texture that you want in your paint. Go ahead and paint that on just as you normally would and then and you have your finished product. This is actually a side-by-side -side between the only regular painted one and the painted one with the baking soda. Just keep painting all your pumpkins this way and then before they dry out, but not while they're soaking wet, go ahead and dust them with some baking soda. This will give it a very chalky, distressed look later on once it's dry and you brush off all that baking soda. Okay, and that's how they turned out. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I'm so excited to show you guys how not only did I decorate them in my home, but how I ended up decorating the rest of my house for fall. I know apparently I got a late start because people did it in August and it's September, but I mean, I'm trying to keep like the vibes going here. So September fall decor it is. I can't wait to show you guys and I really hope you liked it. If you end up trying this DIY out for yourself, please tag me on Instagram at Gallagher Abode and make sure to follow me. And of course, before you leave, please remember to like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my future videos as always i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching Mwah. bye friends